Hey guys, welcome back. Drip and Farm 4 Pop. I'm your host, Drip Coach Dropping. Knowledge bombs on all Drip ecosystem related projects. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how indeed we just might hit a 20x within the next two weeks, tentatively by July 4th, um, or even before Triple D launches. And you're going to stay tuned to find out what that 20x is because it's not what you think. So let's dive straight in. Here is a teaser of what that actually is. So 11 months ago, I made this video, Drip Network, Tax Vault, Depleted, Drip Minting, New Tokens, 20% increase in 30 days. And in this video, we went into um, exactly when that got started, around June 3rd, so to speak, is when Drip started minting. And we can come over to the actual BSC scan and see that we currently have 19.3 million drip floating around remember it was originally 1 million drip was uh, the contract and if the game was being played correctly all drip would be staying in the faucet and being recycled however people started accumulating it on the sidelines because they had too much in the faucet and they started trading it or sitting on it like a speculative trading day trading sort of asset even with the 10 percent in and out and that was never factored into the original tokenomics and Remember, drip can't be changed. So that is something that we have to factor in for future development. And that's where Triple D is supposed to help stop the bleeding. But if we zoom out here and look at the BSC scan, we can see right around here is when drip first started minting. So this was a tax vault. It was all healthy for the entire year. And then right around June 2nd, June 3rd is when Drip started minting. And then we've been off to the races ever since. Some days without minting, some days minting more than others. But you can see that we have failed to recapture um, any level and keep it there. We had 1.3 million Drip in the tax vault at the peak when we originally had the uh, Hopium kicked out for Triple D. Uh, February 22nd. That was the highest amount of drip that we've ever seen. Um, what is that? About 40% higher than um, the highest amount that we ever had. Uh, but the, what I'm getting at in this video, what we have to do as a community is find ways to um, correct this. Remember, you can't burn drip to actually reduce this supply. There is no burn mechanic on the contract. I've showed you guys that before when you come over here to the contract. And if you were to go and do a uh, write on the contract, there is no burn. So since that does not actually exist, there is no way to remove the tokens from circulation. It will indeed uh, mint in perpetuity. So the only thing we can do is find a location for these tokens. Now, as of right now, almost 6 million in the two main contracts. That's where we want to keep them. But that leaves another 12 million to 13 million sitting in people's wallets. It's crazy. I've showed you guys this before. Um, and a lot of it is just stagnant. Like people are not doing much with it, but the top contributors are actually accumulating it. And of course, waiting for positive price action to sell it. So that'll be a double edged sword because they definitely see a depreciation in the price, but at least some of that will finally get out of the liquid state and back into the tax vault and into the, uh, the two contracts. So what I am uh, showing in this video is where we are headed as well as what we can do as a community. So when we look at the numbers, the numbers don't lie. We had as I said, 1 million was a supply on the 2nd of June. And then as of today's video, we have 19.38 million, basically 18.3 million increase, which has come out to 47,000, nearly 48,000 drip per day has been minted on average for the last 385 days. Now, again, granted, not every day we had minting, but some days were higher, some days were lower, but over average for over a year, it's been close to 50,000. So if we project that out. If Triple D does not get launched in the near future, then we could see a 20 million liquid supply by July 4th, 20, 20 days from now. I'm sorry, 13 days from now is July 4th. 
which is the speculative day that Stunner gave jokingly and that I kind of co-signed on my previous video. But this is not all doom and gloom. So what does this what does this mean? What what can we do? Well, I'm showing you guys this because you need to be aware that if nothing is developed for the ecosystem, the sentiment is negative. It's just the way the DeFi degen energy goes. As I said, I had to revamp my ideology. I could not beat them. I have to understand that that is the energy in the space and it's not going to change. These are degens and people that got into crypto and DeFi specifically to become a millionaire overnight, regardless of the overwhelming odds being against them, that that's not going to happen. The point is it's happened to enough people to keep that energy and speculation high where people are always looking to be that next crypto millionaire overnight. So you can't change energy, so you have to leverage it. And what do I mean by that? Well, leveraging it means that we need utility. And not necessarily utility like I want, which means non-degen stuff. We need degen utility. And in the simple thing of just stuff for people to ape into, regardless of if they um, if it's got the proper tokenomics or not. Now, I don't mean anything that can rub or that's exploitable but some simple contracts, simple games, simple things that don't require a lot of innovation, things that can just get people excited for a week or two and then flip into the next thing. That's what I believe the ecosystem needs right now, especially if we're gonna carry ourselves into the next bull run. So we're looking at probably another year before we see some relatively decent price action in uh, crypto or in DeFi, sorry. And crypto, this is all tied to Bitcoin because of the having cycle. So again, if we do not see positive sentiment coming from utility within the ecosystem, and we know that right now, Triple D is the only thing on the roadmap. And remember that got injected into the roadmap because the community. So that should tell you again that the community has to take up arms and develop. Forex is focused on the gambling arena for Animal Farm and uh, GameFi and gamblefy or whatever you want to call it there is i believe the community at this stage will have to develop and develop at a faster clip if we want to see positive price action if you're content with where drip is at then you can just sit on the sidelines and complain if you're not content then i encourage you to step up and see what you can do and when i say that you do not have to be a developer all you have to do is be someone that wants to support the community and then figure out where your skills can get leveraged and that's where, for one, this came into play, Spritz. They were a company that I reached out to and bugged the hell out of for over six months until we got this collaboration working. I didn't get anything out of this and that now can benefit Trip and be a long-term collaborative partner, but this will all be dependent on how much noise the community makes and how much they support it. So this was just one idea and I talked about it before it ever became something uh, into fruition. So I showed you guys what I was doing. I was making the moves. I'm trying to lead by example. And I've mentioned this to other people in the space that live in other countries. They're like, well, it's not available in my country. Well, stop whining about it and find someone that you can collaborate with and get it done. Stop relying on everyone else to pick up the torch and carry it for you. If you want your bags to pump, then pump them your damn self. I have no other way to say that. Um, I'm only one person, but I'm showing you what can be done if you get off your ass and start doing something about it. Now, maybe again, you can't collaborate. Maybe you're uh, not a content creator. Maybe you're, um, you know, just someone that has some business partnerships. I don't know, whatever it is, you know, make a tweet, share content, do something besides complain, unless you don't care. Now that is one aspect of it. The other is um, leveraging other communities find areas that we can collaborate and partner with within the ecosystem itself. And uh, that's what I did now with the drip marketing DAO. So remember, this was an idea that Rock 8 kicked out, said, hey, one day maybe the drip will have a decentralized DAO that will do marketing. I took that and ran with it and created the DAO. And now we have this partnership. Well, one, we've been able to keep the actual garden in the positive compared to everything else in the ecosystem. So that somewhere to direct their energy, then it will stay uh, positive, so to speak. I don't have that here. I thought I had it here. We just lost, there it is. Drip Garden, it's updating 310 contract balance. So that's awesome. 
Now with that, because of the work that I put in, I was able to find Ray, not Ray from Bartertown, Ray from Project Great Life, because he has built this amazing marketing system and a licensed and registered company in the Philippines, that's Ray back there, giving these actual uh, webinars and in-person um, webinars to help people get started in multi-level marketing from a legitimate system and platform that he built from the ground up. Now with this, we are going to try to increase, of course, the visibility on the drip garden, but here's another perfect example. I'm quite sure from Ray's connections and being in the Philippines and people that he's met, I can find someone that can build some sort of spritz off ramp or build something else. I don't know what the utility will be, but the point is getting out there and networking with the right people and saying, hey, we all believe in the power of DeFi to create financial freedom. What can we do to pump our own bags? How can we pick up um, arms and do something about it besides sitting on the sidelines? So my rally cry to all of you out there that I've mentioned multiple times over is also related to my crypto ranch project so again that is the goal is to take the energy and the people within the space put them all together if you're a just a collaborator just an admin someone who just takes notes someone who just shares tweets someone who's active on social media whatever we bring them all together on behalf of the group community and we have a way to collect this liquidity, then we can produce these contracts at a much more rapid clip. Of course, again, ensuring that they're safe. I don't want to say that we're just throwing out crap, but giving people something to get into. And since we have a passionate community, we can actually get a lot of eyeballs on it because the people in the community will share it. And I think that is the only way Drip survives into the next bull market. I think the back Drip will survive because the contract's immutable. Now, what the price action will be will depends all on us. Stop waiting for Forex to deliver. Stop expecting him to do something and pull a rabbit out of his hat. You know, even the um, borrow and lending can come from the community. I have pitched ideas about it. Now, I'm going to admit I have no idea regarding liquidity management and all that stuff, how that will work. But there are plenty of smart minds in the community. Why are we waiting for Forex to do it? Why can't we do it ourselves? And why can't we create a DAO that creates this liquidity? We fail, we can fail as a collective and move forward and make the next project or contract better. So that is why I brought this up because the numbers don't lie and there is clearly a need to do something versus doing nothing. Doing nothing is not an option unless you just don't care. And I know there's a lot of people that don't care because they have multiple wallets. So they would just like to dump them on the community and they're like, well, I got in early. So at least I got five max wallets, 10 max wallets, whatever the case may be. I don't believe that. I believe we all need to work together if, if we want to see this succeed. And I do believe that the uh, drip token in and of itself is not broken or needs to be improved. There are definitely things in hindsight that you could change, but all we have to do is find a place for that 1% of minting per day. And as I showed you guys, again, the numbers don't lie, 70% of the community is not even paying any attention. If we get action, those people will start paying attention again and new people will start paying attention. Crypto adoption is so young. And again, the only way I believe that's gonna happen is if all of a sudden this community and it starts putting out a bunch of utility at a fast clip showing how many different ways the drip token has utility from gaming to it's out there because i can't build it and even if i do with the team I haven't kicked it off yet because we're waiting on Triple D and don't want to um, have the energy kind of bifurcated between the two. But I believe that is the end all be all solution. It supports content creators. It supports the rapid development of the ecosystem. It supports the ability to do traditional marketing that we have proven works within a drip marketing DAO. It, it closes all the gaps and holes that we have within the ecosystem and gives the power back to the community. And I think that's the only way forward. So if you're interested in that, again, leave a comment down below. And then also 
make sure people understand that you have we have to do something as a collective we are heading in the wrong direction fast and um we have to slow this down to some some degree within ourselves um of course we have the animal farm and all these other things but that in of itself is not enough uh if so we would already see this you know slow down but it hasn't so if you believe what i believe then let me know in the comments ask about the crypto ranch project and then we'll get you into the telegram and we'll try to kick this off sooner than later but it's still going to come behind triple d so we gotta wait for that all right that's all i got hope that provides value hope that provides a sense of urgency to the community and those that align with my values morals and beliefs and if not i don't know what to tell you <laughs> but if it did you know the drill smash that hbo special help brother out like subscribe comment down below and until next time lift daily and want to pay your in real life bills with crypto how about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account spritz finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments they do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and web3 wallets Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.